Hi folks, this week on Big On Wine, a red wine from France's Bordeaux, but not as we normally know it. This one is different, very different, and it's coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the channel which, uh, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews indeed. It keeps you up to speed with just about everything happening in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is indeed from Bordeaux. And it's this one here. It goes under the name of Chateau Courano Le Fougue. And the vintage is 2017. And this wine comes in for a price of just under 15 euro a bottle where I am. Right, let's bring you the backstory to this one because this is very different. This uh, wine is produced indeed by Chateau Courano and it is Appellation Bordeaux Contrôlé. Now, of course, Bordeaux is the area where they produce the most expensive wines in the world and many other wines beside. And this is one of the other wines beside because this wine comes from the very, very easternmost point of the Bordeaux Appellation. It comes from a small place called Ligue, uh, about 80 kilometers east of Bordeaux, right on the edge uh, of the Bordeaux area. And of course, much closer in fact, to the beautiful city of Bergerac, which is in the département next door called Dordogne. All right, this wine is unusual because on the bottle there is no mention of the grape variety. Indeed, it's relatively difficult to find exactly which grape variety is used in this wine. However, Chateau Courano does tell us that they have about 40 hectares of vineyards under cultivation 35 hectares are dedicated to the red Merlot grape. So we have reason to believe that this is based on Merlot here. All right. This wine is unusual because um, it's organically grown, biodynamic, vegan, and also uh, in line with recent trends. In fact, on the show a few weeks ago, we had another wine which was sulfite free and this too is sulfite free. So organically grown, biodynamic, vegan and sulfite free. So there we are, sign of the times, even in Bordeaux. Right, let's take a look at the wine in the glass. And as we can see, it has a wonderful, a deep ruby red color, breaking almost towards purple. It looks fantastic in the glass. It has a nice viscosity to it as well. Let's see what the nose has to tell us. And of course, this is an organic wine, sulfite free, so it should be interesting. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> this, this one here is talking to me in spades here. Um, big nose on this wine, um, ripe, ripe berries, dark berries, dark berries indeed, um, spicy. Um, very intense, very powerful, um, almost flowery as well, but spicy, dark, uh, and intense. That's what I would say about the nose on this wine. All right, now this is a young wine, of course. This is a vintage 2018, so it's only about a year or so old. 14.5% um, alcohol, so fairly standard for a Bordeaux a red wine. Let's try it in the mouth and see what we can find. Hmm. First impressions are of those tannins and acid, almost like a tingle on the tongue, filling the mouth with flavour. It's a young wine, of course. I think this has got a long way to go in terms of development. Mm. 
mouth filling. Slight dryness there. Herbiness too. In terms of flavours, mm, I think we're turning our sights on something like plum, dark, dark plum. Sour cherry also comes through. And cranberry, perhaps. A little bit of Christmassy stuff there. Peppery, very peppery. It has an acidic, tannic, peppery bite to this wine. This won't be to the liking of everybody, but it's definitely worth trying. It's a very unusual wine. Also a touch of herbiness comes through in the finish there. So tannic, acidic, dark plum, sour cherry, black pepper, and a touch of herbiness as well. Mmm, the tannins definitely causing the mouth to dry a little. Intense, dark. Mmm. Now, this is a challenge. Where are we going to place this wine and what are we going to be eating with it? Uh, is this too young? Is this too different? Mmm. Young, yes. Too different, no. This is a wine, I think, that needs time to develop and mellow. It's not a wine to drink as is in a glass like that on its own. This is a wine that needs to either mature for two or three years in cellar, or it needs the right kind of food to go with the wine in its present state. So what kind of food, if we are intent on drinking it now, what kind of food will match this wine? Well, I think it has to be dark meat, um, so beef lamb, but even better would be some kind of game dish. So I'm thinking um, duck, elk, elk would be fine. Wild boar, why not? Savouriness uh, of the wild boar matching well with the tann tannins and the dark berries of this wine. So very unusual, very different, and still has a long way to develop. All right, let's bring you the heads up on this wine. This is Chateau Curano Le Fougueux. The vintage is 2017. This is great value where I am at under 15 euro a bottle. It's a rough diamond from the very east of the Bordeaux Appellation. It's vegan, it's sulfite free. It's an unusual wine, it's still a work in progress, but I'm going to give this wine four stars out of five. Okay guys, many many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video and of course the little introduction to a very unusual and different Bordeaux Red, this one from Chateau Curano over there in the far east of the Bordeaux Appellation. Interesting stuff and still a long way to develop for this one, I think. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always very, very happy to receive your comments and feedback. Share the video around, follow me on my other social media platforms. And hey, if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. And naturally, you could also hit that bell icon and you'll be informed as soon as every new video hits the airwaves. Okay, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week, of course. Um, but until we meet again, this is Tony Melvin signing off and saying, hey, take care out there, be good to each other, enjoy your wines and cheers. <laughs>